Inside a small warehouse in Shippensburg, you'll find fabrics of all colors and patterns. Continue towards the back, and you'll meet a local fashion designer whose mission is military. So this, the back of the duffel bag, is the back of the uniform. Eve Baum moved to central Pennsylvania from Canada six years ago. Armed with a degree in fashion design, she started a small handbag business from home. But she says something was missing. Well, I was life searching. I was happy with what I was doing, but I, I, I always knew that I wanted a higher purpose. I wanted something that was going to grow nationwide. And in 2007, that purpose came in the form of a local soldier who wanted to honor his family in a special way. A major from the U.S. Army actually send me his fatigues just like you know the ones that we have here in a box and at the bottom a little letter asking if I could um, you know transform them into handbag for his mom and his sister who was pregnant for Christmas so when I was cutting it I got chills and I was like well I know this is my big idea you know this is what I'm supposed to do and this is what I would love to do from there she began fashioning fatigues for a new project militaryhandbag.com you know, your fatigues, and it's going to have all the name tape and all the patches, and you're going to put this in a box, send it, send it to us with USPS, and we reimburse your postage fee. The finished product? Custom handbags, backpacks, wallets, journals, even baby blankets. Stitched with the hope it will keep families feeling close to their service member, wherever they are. We do a lot of fallen hero bag, which are very touching because for certain, you know, for this particular person, whether it's a mom or a wife, you know, it, it holds a, a, a healing process almost in it. You know, they got to let go of the person, but they got to hold a little bit. You know, I get very emotional even just telling you about that. If you don't know anyone serving, you can still support the cause by buying a bag made from a donated uniform. At least 10% of every sale is given to charities benefiting the troops and their families. Eve says it's her little way of saying thank you to those who helped her achieve her own American dream. When I came here, I was mind blown by the patriotism and the American heart to um, the soldier, the army, the, even the flag. It's a great honor to be part of this project. In Shippensburg, Megan Healy, ABC 27 News.